Good afternoon. Um, as I said uh, this past weekend after the game, we had a decision coming um, at the end of our work week this week regarding the quarterback position. Um, as I also said after the game, I just thought it was appropriate to do it at this time. I think that um, doing it earlier than this time uh, would have put a de-emphasis on the work that we were able to get done uh, out here from a developmental standpoint. But I also think it's the appropriate time because as we move into next week, we need to be singularly focused as a collective um, on the challenges of the week, which is obviously our opener in Atlanta um, in the division of labor and roles within it. Um, I met with both quarterbacks here just a few minutes ago um, after practice, and I informed them uh, that Russ is QB1 uh, going into week one. Um, it was a difficult decision, but not difficult in a negative way, to be quite honest with you. It was difficult in a positive way. The de decision was difficult because of what they're capable of doing, um, decision was difficult because of how they have conducted themselves as opposed to the things that they fall short in in terms of capabilities or negative conduct. Um, both guys have been really professional. Um, I've been really excited about getting to know them and their games and having a, the ability to analyze what, what, what both are capable of bringing. Um, obviously, Russ's injury created some challenges in terms of that process, in terms of exposure. Um, to him, uh, but, but in the same token, it created more opportunities and avenues to get to know Justin and for Justin to show what he's capable of. But not only Justin, uh, Kyle Allen as well. Um, quickly in the process, we got comfortable uh, with Kyle Allen's capabilities because, you know, he wasn't running with the threes, if you will, and there's a significant difference in a training camp setting between second group reps and third group reps. And so it's re been really good on a lot of fronts, challenging in some areas. Um, but I like where we are, to be quite honest with you. Um, you know, just getting to know Justin's capabilities, man, um, we like it. I know you guys might have some questions about the potential of package football, uh, given uh, his skill set, and that's certainly on the table. Um, but I'm not going to get into many details regarding that or, or things of that nature because it doesn't help us from a competitive advantage standpoint. But make no mistake, um, his talent, his unique talent, uh, as it pertains to mobility, is something that we're open to, open to weaponizing, um, although I have acknowledged um, that Russ is QB1. So I've talked enough. I'll open the floor up. I'm sure you got questions. Coach, a lot of things that Coach said, a lot of the players were talking about was Russ's communication and leadership and how valued that was not only on the field but off the field. Is that something that you were able to see and notice that made a big difference in the decision? You know, I saw it and noticed it. I don't know that it made a big difference in terms of the decision because I saw it in both guys. Um, obviously, Russ's resume is a unique one in terms of length and success, and um, you know that tends to play a factor in the decision making. But not from a decision making perspective; it's just you know fruit of his labor. Um, you know he's seen a lot and done a lot, and I think it was reflected in the way he he played and conducted himself. Mike, you often say that the in stadium work means more, but Russ didn't get a lot of that. What did you see outside of those that gave? You know, um, a lot of work got done in the practice setting. You guys come to our practices. They're, they're, they're intense, and they're intense by design um, because we got to know. I hate speculation. Um, it's a football-like environment. We try to make it as football-like as we can, and, and I saw enough to be comfortable, certainly. Mike, no one else? A little bit about sub-package football. Is Justin a, a good enough or obviously a great athlete that you could really use him in other aspects on the field without giving anything away? I'll leave all of that on the table. Speculate away. How much does Russ still have the mobility that he had early in his career and extending plays against other teams, including you guys, over the years? I am completely comfortable with the mobility that he has. I don't necessarily have a frame of reference from earlier in his career because I wasn't around him day to day. Uh, but what I've seen day to day as he's gained his health uh, is certainly sufficient in terms of doing things that we desire to do with quarterback mobility or doing things ad lib in terms of extending plays. That is very much still in his wheelhouse. Mike, one of the things that's, that's, that's been a staple of, of Russell Wilson's game has been the deep ball. What kind of an added element do you think he can bring to the offense with that? And how does that mesh with some of the, the skill position players he has? Really excited about it. And you guys have seen it in, 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 our, in our practices, man. He's, He's got a legitimate deep ball, not only in terms of the arm strength, but in terms of accuracy. We got some guys that are capable of getting down the field in a lot of ways, so we're excited about that. How do you kind of evaluate Russ's mastery 
of the offense, especially while being sidelined with the calf stuff during training camp and part of the preseason? Um, it's certainly sufficient enough for us to be having this discussion, but growth and development will be ongoing, not only for him, for all of us, uh, particularly at the early stages of this journey to, to characterize anything at this juncture as complete or, or comfort is, is inappropriate. How much input did Arthur Smith have in uh, this whole process, not just necessarily the, the decision, but first group reps, things of that nature? The A lot of input, um, but I don't run away from responsibility. Assistants make suggestions, guys like me make decisions. Um, you know, we made the decision today. I, I revealed it to them today, and, and all other elements of it are mute, really. With what Arthur's asking the offense to do, how have you seen Russ kind of take control of that and implement what, what you guys have asked? He and, and, and Justin and Kyle, they've all done a really good job of, of, of owning the responsibility that comes with being a quarterback within this system, um, and I expect that to continue. They handle kind of the news of the, that you shared with the quarterbacks. Was it a meeting with both of them together, or one at a time? How'd that go? It, it was with both guys together, and they handled it like professionals. Like how important was the body of work of Russell over you know more than a decade to, for you to make that decision? Right? Um, comfortable. Um, you know, the body of work is one of the components of why he's here. The decision was made based on what it is that we saw. Anyone else? Like, uh, Justin, once you got him in the building, was there anything? that you found out about him, anything that you didn't know coming in that you, you got a little bit more of a tangible feel once you were coaching him on a daily basis? Justin? Yes. Man, his athleticism is freaky. Um, I've seen the highlights and things of that nature, um, but being an AFC coach and things of that nature, you don't always get a chance to feel it or, or really pay attention to it to see it day to day and to see some of the things that he's capable of doing on the football field is really exciting. Mike, how did Russell Austin on draft rookie make the team? How is that comfort level with he and Jared Burrow? I'm just talking about the cubes right now. You gonna throw Beanie into this discussion? <laughs> you All right. Multiple quarterbacks. I think three or four years in a row now. The fact that you said this was a difficult decision give you uh, feel make you feel like you have a pretty good backup option if you need to go to Justin. I'm not worried about contingency plans as I stand here today.